So uh, my motor can't stop, start. So it's uh, a, a YouTube uh, uh, a video user, Neptune uh, 3SE, suggested, uh, why don't I take it apart and just start uh, the, um, the motor without the, without the, um, without without the remote control covered um, you know together because it may just be one of these guys shorting out and stopping my motor from keep running so that's what I'm doing now let's see if we can start this thing this is interesting that um, you see, um, somehow it's grounding somewhere so that, you know, you, I can't, I can't uh, start the motor. I never get quite uh, figure out what's uh, wrong here and uh, you can see I'm trying to turn the thing and it's just not uh, turning and this is the kill switch the yellow um, whatever thing and uh, this is the, the, the wire you know so See, that's grounding the the terminal. See, it's not turning. I can't start the motor. See that? This is interesting. So I cannot start my motor and I think it's because I broke this I broke this switch which is the neutral star switch So I'm going to Bypass this and try to start it. In other words, connect these two and then try to start it. So I opened my remote control and uh, I decided to bypass. That's here. Where's my safety switch? Here we go. This is the safety neutral switch that I broke. Um, so this
yellow red uh, is from the key switch as you can see this guy is from the key switch that hook up to this um, one side of this neutral star switch and this is the other end of the yellow red wire that uh, hook up to this other side of the neutral star switch of the remote control and, and then this end leads to the uh, motor and um, when these two when the switch safety switch is in the neutral position then these two um, connect so you we can start the motor from the key switch you know um, right now something is wrong with this key switch because I broke a uh, safety switch because I broke it so sometimes it starts sometimes it doesn't and then when it starts um, so when I connect the two now what I'm facing is my starting motor is not turning fast enough to uh, crank up the motor so I don't know if it's because I um, I think it's the I think it's these two that I'm not uh, connecting or maybe the thing that leads to this solenoid is bad so let me uh, wait a second so this is leading to this starting thing is leading um, to the wire is leading to this guy and that leads to this wire let's see where it's go it goes then it leads to this wire and then um, yeah it leads all the way to the motor so this does lead to the motor the big red um, plug in the motor in, in the back of the motor um, so this thing uh, is the safety uh, switch um, that leads back to the motor and it connects to this thing that I broke um, sometimes it starts sometimes it doesn't anyhow so that's my remote control uh, problem you know so right now on top of that all I also have this negative battery cable that's kind of loose I may need to take it apart and fix it and this one is the positive terminal I think it's okay but this guy look kind of weak um, so maybe one third or half of the um, wires are connecting to the negative terminal but not everything so you know I kind of need to need to uh, reconnect this um, wire to connect to this clip really good because right now I don't think it's um, connecting that great if I kind of twist this thing I'm sure I can disconnect the thing but I'm not sure if that's the reason why the motor is flywheel is or the starter is not um, turning the flywheel as uh, before you know so that's where uh, everything I think it may have a problem because uh, for whatever reason uh, right now it's hard to turn the see that see I may have a compression problem now maybe the motor is sitting there is bind or something like that it's weird See that? It's not willing to turn. This is a new problem because it wasn't like this before. <laughs>